something special was cooking at Mio Cucina on Miracle Mile. It was the Italian cooking show organized by the Italy America Chamber of Commerce. This is the third year the show has come to Coral Gables and is part of a series of four cooking classes which started in May and ends in August with a grand finale event in September. For the third consecutive year, uh, the Italy America Chamber of Commerce, for which I work, um, has been presenting this uh, event, which has been increasingly popular and famous. It's a four series uh, uh, cooking class, uh, which uh, um, takes place always in this wonderful venue here in Coral Gables. The show featured two top Italian chefs explaining how to make some of the traditional dishes that has made Italian cuisine so famous. Guests were given a packet featuring detailed explanations on how to cook these delicious recipes at home. Tonight uh, I made the flan, spinach flan with fondue, typical from uh, Val d'Aosta. The bracco lamb, stuffing with fontina and sage, and porcini mushroom and fried polenta. And the dessert is bonnet, it's typical from this area. It's uh, like uh, flan with chocolate and amaretti cookie and amaretti liquor. Now we want to prepare a fricot of uh, asparagus, montasio and uh, quite eggs with some uh, extra virgin olive oil. We want to make a uh, gnocchi, it's a potato gnocchi with uh, uh, cocoa and uh, raisin and butter uh, sauce. It's very particular with some cinnamon. It's very particular from the Friuli Venezia Giulia, it's a region on the east of the Italian. We want to make like a uh, gubana. It's a very famous dessert over there. It's like a sweet bread with some raisin uh, walnuts and uh, pine nuts with some uh, rome cream on top. The recipes may not sound like the Italian cuisine you find in the franchise Italian restaurant, yet both chefs want to change that by showing what they consider the real Italian cuisine. Especially the American customer, they're looking for the traditional Italian recipe, not fusion or oh, the Italian cuisine, but uh, family style, the really Italian cuisine. All the plate from Italy is really, um, I can say, it's poor, you know. It's coming from the poor people and what they have, they're making. After the cooking demonstration, guests were allowed to try a little bit of everything from Italy, including some mozzarella, some prosciutto, and also some of the finest wines that Italy has to offer. And guests made sure to make room for this food festival featuring authentic foods and ingredients from Italy. And the idea behind this, uh, it was just um, um, to promote and educate on Italy um, uh, culinary heritage. Uh, considering especially that in the last 50 years um, the, the culinary tradition of, of our country has become more and more a uh, trademark, universal and really distinctive. And uh, also um, another reason is that we would like to promote and educate uh, on the, um, and in encourage the use of genuine and real Italian products because uh, in the US market um, most of the time we find uh, misleadingly promoted uh, in, um, products uh, which uh, are labeled as Italians, but they are not. After trying all the authentic cuisine, guests left feeling confident that they could make a little piece of Italy right at home. For What's Happening Coral Gables, I'm David Alvarez.